For 10 years, I get hundreds of phone calls with the question if it is possible to make a sawdust gasifier. I have always said no, and in the last video I showed how you can still make a vehicle or a stationary gasifier to generate electricity from sawdust. You can find the link in the description under the video. But recently I came across another paper about a sawdust gasifier invented by Comrade Krohn, and later, by Sizov. Who is Krohn and how close he came to creating a low-power gasifier? In fact, he did create it. I have already told you about this device in another video, you can find the link in the description too. Krohn filed the patent for his sawdust gasifier in July 1945, just a couple of months after the beginning of the war. The essence of its device is to gasify sawdust together with wood chips in one gasifier. Let's take a look at it. The gasifier is divided into two chambers. The outer chamber is filled with charcoal or wood chips. The inner chamber is filled with sawdust. When the gasifier starts working, the sawdust begins to heat up intensively, releasing pyrolysis gas. In order to prevent large amounts of sawdust from falling on the outer chamber grate, an overturned cone grate is installed, which both reflects the sawdust flow and serves as a grate per se. Gas is taken from under the outer chamber grate through a special cone grate and a special gas chamber. There are two ears around it and the ash pan at the bottom. Now let's look at a more complex gasifier by Comrade Sizov. This gasifier works due to the forced supply, displacement, of fuel from below. As we can see, there is a sawdust feeding pipe with an auger in the middle of the gasifier hopper. The sawdust moves in the pipe, being heated externally by the gasification process, and begins to pyrolyze, giving off gas and water. The semi-coke obtained from the sawdust falls outside on the system of air supply pipes and heats the air with its heat. The picture shows that the air supplying pipe is coil-shaped. There are holes drilled in it for the air to come out. The air gasifies the sawdust which passed the semi-coking process. The picture shows that the air supplying pipe is coil-shaped. There are holes drilled in it for the air to come out. The air gasifies the sawdust which passed the semi-coking process. I am not going to read out a puzzling patent description. I'll just show it for you to read. See you soon.